Hey guys, so it is your boy Jack Drips here today, and we've got part two of the Decadent Vapors um, review of the 10 liquids. I reviewed five liquids on my last video, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check that one out. There were the more fruitier flavors, this one is going to be the more dessert rich, sort of tobacco y kind of flavors too. And, um, yeah, so if you do want to check these out, um, head over to decadentvapors.com where they sell them, or if you want even more information, then head over to ginnyvape.com. Right, so I did go through all the information on the last video, but just quickly I will say that, um, yeah, these guys are very impressive um, with their quality control, they do batch numbers, they list all the ingredients, they have USP and um, what was it? Something fancy sounding, which sounds good. Um, <laughs> they are all bam 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 bam, let's have a look. Um, yeah, their website is excellent. They have all USP and EP specifications on their um, ingredients, pharmaceutical grade nicotine, and um, yeah, batch controlled. Um, they have all they have all the safety information on the bottles, childproof caps, loads of information on the um, boxes that they come in, which you'll see in a second. And yeah, it's just all great, all diacetyl and acetyl propanol free, which is also great. And if you want more information, I do talk about it a little bit more on the other website. But for this one, I'm just going to jump straight in and finish these guys off with the uh, next batch of five flavors, which I have got, um, yeah, I'll show you one at a time, actually. <laughs> so this one is going to be New York 60, which is says Vanilla and Caramel Art Blend. The um, little brief description on the back says uh, Met Metropolitan Modernist Mix. Ooh, very fancy. A creative concentration of vanilla and caramel with hints of biscuit and coffee. So let's give this one a go and yeah. Mmm. Mmm, right. These are all 50 50 mixes and all in 6 milligram, um, just like the last video. Mm, just great. So as you can see the packaging here, they've got all this like arty pop art stuff and then the bottles for this one is like, a really dark navy blue with a white cap on. Very nice indeed. You'll see that all these uh, packagings and all of the um, bottles are different colours for every single one which is very nice. Lovely co colour coordination. But for this one, which is the one we're talking about, it says Vanilla and caramel with hints of biscuit and coffee. Now, they say hints of biscuit and coffee. I get quite a bit of coffee from this one, which I was surprised at. I was expecting more of a vanilla um, cheesecake, kind of New York cheesecake vibe, which I do get. I do get biscuity notes and definitely caramel. Um, the vanilla, for me, is not too strong, which is good. And the coffee is there. It is there. They mention it, and it's definitely there. Mmm, just rich, just bites, just bites at you. It just has that coffee hit, which is actually nice. And um, the throat hit on this one is medium to strong for me, because I'm not a huge fan of throat hit. But all in all, very nice, very nice. Mmm, just a, a nice dessert vape that bites back a little bit that biscuit and coffee note in there. So that was um, New York 60, very, very nice. Uh, nice packaging, obviously, which I just keep talking about. But <laughs> the next one I am gonna go for will be Banoffee, let's have a go. Right, okay guys, so this is Banoffee. Mm. That was my first hit, actually, that was delicious. But it says, indulgent dessert drip. A tantalizing vape blend of sweet banana and creamy caramel, which I expected from Banoffee. And you can see here the labeling on this one. They've got like bananas make up the Ginny logo. It's just 
crazy it's just cool just is cool and this one is like a caramel colored bottle with a yellow cap which seems very fitting indeed so what does this taste like what does it taste like let's have a go tastes like banoffee pie end of review <laughs> it just does it just tastes like banoffee a ripe, realistic banana, which I was so surprised at. Realistic bananas with a creamy caramel filling and a bit of cream on top too. From a banoffee pie, it's not, it doesn't say banoffee pie, to be fair, but I was expecting some of that biscuity base, which it doesn't have. It just says banoffee, so um, vanilla and vanilla. Whoa, crazy. Vanilla, <laughs> um, banana and caramel, which I do get. I don't get any biscuity base, but it's not claiming to be a pie, so not too uh, worried about that. But I definitely get a ripe, realistic banana, which is fantastic. And then a really deep, rich, uh, toffee, caramel flavour. I mean, it really is excellent, actually. I just can't get over that. That banana flavour is so realistic. And that caramel comes off really nice and desserty very nice indeed yeah i i really like that flavor um uh for me personally i'm not really a dessert person that's why if you see my other video with the fruit flavors in i enjoyed those a lot more but needless to say if not for nothing very good actually very very nice so the next one we're going to head over to if i put this one back in its pack uh we're going to do red tab so can you imagine what that is going to be? Red tab. Oh, and it's got that swoosh on it. I wonder what it is. Right, so let's have a look at that. Right, okay, guys, so this is red tab. And um, what does it say on the side? It says a true blue blend of tobacco and vanilla flavours. And the bottle is red with a red cap this time looking very um, suspect, uh, very cigarette-y, uh, and I'm just going to have a vape. Right, so if you are a smoker and you want to transition to vaping, I would actually recommend this one as a decent tobacco flavour. It does taste like um, you are dry, like dry puffing on a real cigarette you do actually get that sort of paper kind of flavor it's reminiscent of a marlboro i'm gonna say that right up it is reminiscent of a marlboro red not too strong because the vanilla sort of um smoothens it out a bit but it's definitely a a dry tobacco a dry cigarette tasting tobacco and for me now, at this point, a year and a half, in almost two years, I do not like cigarettes at all. So this one is not for me, I'm going to say that straight up. I haven't been vaping any tobacco flavours recently, in the last year really, and this one, it just does taste like a cigarette, and not like a lit cigarette, but like a dry cigarette flavour, and just for me, it's just not um for me personally but if you are transitioning and you want that taste i mean you know we are all starting out as vapors and this might be even some of you who are smokers who are watching and we all wanted that tobacco taste to start with we just did and um yeah this one just it does taste like a cigarette really Yeah, there's no funky flavours or anything weird. It is what it says it is. And just for me, just not a huge fan of this one, I'm afraid, because it does taste like what it is saying it tastes like, and I'm not a fan of the original product. So, that one was Red Tab. And we're going to head over to the next one, which is Saint Clément. <laughs> Saint, Saint Clément, which is a cigar flavour. So let's head into that one. Right, okay, guys, so this is Saint Clement. Very nice. Uh, rolled, robust, original. A deliciously satisfying full flavour leaf blend with a subtle hint of blossom. 
of Blossom. Right, and then the bottle is a dark brown with a tan cap, and I haven't vaped this one yet, because I'm not going to lie, a bit nervous. So let's head into this one. It is a cigar flavour. What is happening right now? Well, it's like a fruity cigar. It's like a actual tobacco leaf um, flavor, hint of blossom. They were not wrong. It has got a kind of flowery, almost floral note to it, which adds to that what you expect from a cigar. You expect the actual leaf flavor, and I'm definitely getting this. It's much more of a wet tobacco as opposed to the drier tobacco from Red Tab. If you are a cigar smoker, I do recommend this one if you want to transition. Um, it has got that blossomy floral note to it, which a lot of you will not like. But for me personally, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It is really cigary, Really depth of flavour. Um, with that florally note, that tobacco leaf floral wet tobacco note, and that's fairly nice. I do not see myself vaping this one personally because I'm not into cigars or anything like that, anything tobacco rate, uh, related. Just not for me, guys. But all in all, it does what it says on the tin, and you got to give credit where credit is due. And it's describing itself as a tobacco flavour, as a cigar flavour, and that's just what it is. So, next one, and final one. Guys, right, getting through this. This is called Café Olé. <laughs> Café Olé. Um, my French is obviously terrible. Top drawer, white coffee, it says. And the description reads, a sophisticated vape blend of rich coffee flavour with smooth, milky overtones. Uh, aftertones it actually says, uh, smooth milky aftertones, so we're going to have to give this one a try and here we go, I'm just going to change out my atomizer. Right, okay guys, so this is Café au lait, and, um, which is just terrible, but I know that means coffee with milk and um, yeah, that's the box there and it is a brown, dark dark brown bottle with a tan cap on this one and so I know what to expect, I know to expect coffee and uh, milk like it says so I've never vaped this one either, so let's give it a go. Oh my god. I've got to stop whistling, that's just weird. Well, that's cool, I never realised that. Look at that, a little cup of coffee on top. Oh my god, guys, if you like coffee, if you are a coffee person, you will like this one. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. It tastes like a dark, dry roasted, black coffee, and those milky aftertones are kind of coming through for me. It's more toning down the coffeeness, coffeeness, that's the word, uh, toning down the black coffee notes and just smoothing it out a bit. And you do get a bit of warm milkiness, but for the most part, it is a bang on coffee. Yeah, I'm getting a straight up dark coffee with slight frothy hot milk on there. Very nice if you like coffee. I reckon this would be great in the morning uh, with a cup of coffee uh, and whatever you have for breakfast, maybe a croissant to go with your cafe au lait. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but yeah, I can imagine this being a great morning vape. Very full-on coffee flavour. If you're a coffee vaping fan, check this one out. No funky weirdness, it just is what it is. It is a coffee flavour. Right, so my favourite I'm gonna say out of these was the Banoffee flavour. It was, I like that ripe banana. And the red tab was probably my least favourite just because it is a dry um, tobacco flavour. So, if you do want to check any of these out for yourself, head over to ginnyvape.com or decadentvapors.com and follow to the Ginny range section. Link's all in the description, guys. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Please check out my last um, review I did of the other five flavours if you are interested at all. And... Um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching again. 
Oh, burp life and peace out guys. Remember, do not stop vaping um, and peace out. Thank you very much once again.